Hi, I'm Felice McWilliams, and I'm on staff at the Danville Museum of Fine Arts and History, and I'm here to, to teach you how to knit. Simple basics of knitting. And the first thing you need to knit, of course, are needles, two knitting needles, and some yarn. And the three basic steps of knitting, you're gonna learn how to cast on and then how to actually knit and how to cast off the needle. And so we're gonna begin with casting on and we have to start with a simple slip knot. And so I'm just gonna wrap yarn around my two fingers and I'm gonna pull it through and make a slip knot. I'll do that again. I'm gonna leave a little longer tail, maybe about six, seven inches. Wrap it around my fingers, pull it through, and make a slip knot. And that's gonna be your first stitch. And that's gonna be the needle we're gonna hold in our left hand. That's the left hand needle. And now it has one stitch on it. And you don't wanna pull it too tight because you need space to get this needle, the right hand needle through. So we're going to put the right hand needle through that stitch and take it behind your left hand needle and it makes kind of a cross there. See, it's just a cross. And then with your feed line, you're gonna wrap it around and that, that loop that we wrapped around, we're gonna, I'm holding the right hand needle with my pointer and we're gonna guide that loop around it. And there I have two stitches, one on the right and one on the left. But because we're casting on, I need to take this loop and put it back onto the left hand needle. So I'm going to bring this up, go behind, and slide it on. And now we have two stitches onto our needle. So to continue casting on, We'll take that right hand needle and we're not gonna go through that stitch like I did before. We're gonna go between the two stitches. I'm going in between the two stitches now. I'm going to wrap around and I'm gonna bring that loop I wrapped around back through just like I did before, there it is and I have to go behind it to cast it on to the left hand needle. And then I'm gonna slide the right hand needle off. There we have three stitches. And I'm gonna continue this process till I have about eight stitches. Slide the needle between those top two stitches. Wrap around, you're gonna bring it up and through working with a smaller needle. And then we're gonna cast it on to the left hand needle, going from behind and bring it off. There we have another stitch. Needle between the two. Wrap around. Bring it through. And then we're gonna cast it off from behind. And we're gonna fast forward through this process until I have about eight stitches. If you drop a stitch, it's okay because we're in the beginning. I dropped the stitch. It's not gonna matter because you're right in the beginning. You just go back through those top two stitches, wrap it around, 
and bring it back through. And you should be back on your way. I don't know why I'm having trouble bringing it through, but there we go. And then go behind it to drop it back onto the needle. There's that stitch. I'm gonna do two more stitches. And then we can turn around and start to knit. We're just still casting on right now. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten stitches on the needle. And that is our first row. Ten stitches. Now we're going to learn how to actually knit these stitches. So you have your left hand and your right hand needle. The left hand is going to always have the project on it and you're going to feed to your right hand needle. So we start by that first loop. I'm going to take the needle in the loop behind the left hand needle and I'm going to wrap the yarn through them and every time you're wrapping around every stitch you have to wrap around to create a new loop and then I'm going to take the needle bring that loop I wrapped around and I'm just going to slide it off and there I have my first stitch on the right hand needle I'm going to do that process again stick the needle in the loop behind the left hand needle Wrap the yarn, slide up so you can bring it off. Grab that loop you just wrapped through, there it is. And then we're gonna slide the stitch off. And we're gonna repeat that process. Go in the loop, wrap around, bring it through, slide it off. Go in the loop, Wrap around, bring it through, slide it off. Go in the loop, wrap around, bring it through, slide it off. Go in the loop, wrap around, bring it through, slide it off. And I'm just gonna continue until we get to the end. Now I've come to the very last loop on my left hand needle. Same process, I'm going through, wrap around, bring that through and slide it off. And now we have our first row. Starting to grow. Now to continue with the next row, we transfer the project to the left hand. Your right hand needle is free. And we're gonna repeat that process. Don't let that little tail bother you. Go in the loop behind your left hand needle. Wrap it around, bring it through. Slide it off. Go in the loop, wrap around, bring it through, slide it off. And I'm gonna continue this process till I get to the last loop. Okay, I'm on the last row that I'm going to do for this demonstration and I am knitting. I'm taking my right hand needle through the loop behind the left hand needle, wrapping it around, bringing that loop through and sliding it off. Go through the loop, wrap around, bring it through, slide it off. Go through the loop, wrap around, bring it through, 
slide it off through the loop, wrap around, bring it through, slide it off through the loop, wrap around, bring it through, slide it off. And now we have this cute little patch. And has this nice little pattern. And that's the basics of knitting, to cast on and knit. And so now you need to know how to get your project off the needle. And to get it off the needle, again, you're gonna put the project in your left hand. Right hand, the needle is free. And we're gonna knit two stitches onto the right hand needle. I'm gonna go through the loop, wrap around, bring it through, slide it off. Go through the next loop, bring it through, slide it off. Okay, so now I have two stitches on my right hand needle. And to cast off, you need to remember, you always need two stitches on your right hand needle. And so now with these two stitches over here, I'm gonna take this bottom stitch I'm gonna take that bottom stitch and I'm gonna pull it over that one. And now that locks that stitch onto there. But it's only one on here, so I need to get another stitch on here. So I'm gonna knit another stitch. So I'll go in, wrap around, bring it through, slide it off. So now I have two stitches on here. And I'm gonna do that process of lifting the bottom one over the top stitch. Should have got wooden needles because they're a little less slippery. <laughs> but you work with what's best for you. I'm gonna slide that stitch over that one. There we go. I have one stitch on there. I have to add another stitch, so I'm, a, I'm going to knit another stitch onto this needle. Two stitches. I'm going to take the bottom one off and over. I promise it's not as awkward as I'm making it seem. Okay, there we go. Now, knit another stitch onto the needle, and we can fast forward through this. I'm gonna knit that stitch on. Okay, I'm coming up to the last stitch. Here I'm at the last stitch to cast off. So when we come to the last stitch, it's the same process. I'm going to knit it on to the needle. I have those last two stitches. Bottom one needs to come over it. So now we have all the stitches cast off and you have this cool little ridge here that looks like a braid on top. And you see your pattern. And so you have this one little loop here left and we're just going to cut a few inches to have that tail and I'm just going to bring that tail through the loop and tighten it and 
there you have your first knitted patch. Now with these tails, what I typically do is I'll cut it a little shorter and then I get a needle and thread. Some people just crochet it back and forth, back through, weed it back through, but I like to secure it with needle and thread and you can just tie, uh, sew your ends into the project. And there you have your first knitted project. Have fun knitting for Wonder Love. It's going to be beautiful. If you would like to participate in Wonder Love, A Stitch in Time, visit the link in the description, call or email for more information. The Community Knit will take place now through May with the yarn bombing installation on the Riverwalk Trail beginning this summer. This incredible project will be accessible to the public beginning in July. Follow us on Facebook and stay tuned for more how-to videos.